This is Eugene Panrutkovich on the Laptop Screen Doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP 17-E laptop computer. And I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a HP 17-E laptop computer. Uh, first thing, we're gonna sh I'm going to show you the tools that we're going to use. We have a pair of metal tweezers that's to remove screws, manipulate cables, and to pry things open. We have a pointed hobby knife or exacto knife, and that's to remove screw covers and adhesive tape. A PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and one's the size. A smaller PH0 electronic screwdriver and a metal spudger to pry things open. First order of business is to remove the battery. Uh, I already have the battery removed for this particular laptop, but the battery is on the bottom. It's in here, and you just slide this lever. Also, under the battery is the laptop model number, and so if we get a good close-up, if you can Believe me, down here it says model 17-E020US. So this camera doesn't focus well at close-up spots. 17-E020US. Okay, next we're going to flip the laptop back over, open it up again, and next we're going to remove this bezel, the screen bezel. And to do that, there's two screws at the bottom we have to remove, and they're hiding behind some screw covers. So what we're going to do first is use our hobby knife right here to remove the screw covers. And I have to put them right beside the opening so that we can find them later. later. And second, we're going to do the same thing on this side. This one's on a little bit tighter, so we're going to remove it. And then we're going to use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the two screws. There's one, and there's two. Once we remove the screws, we can snap the screen bezel open. What I do for this case is put my fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and lift up and out. So we do this. And like this, this way, we go all the way around the screen assembly, like so, and snap the bezel open and do the same thing on the bottom. So the bottom has some adhesive, so we got to be a little bit careful and take our time to work the bottom open. And finally, it snaps open. OK, next thing we're going to do is to separate a little bit the screen assembly from the back, the screen from the back of the screen assembly. It's held by some mounting metal mounting brackets, and we have to access the screws that are holding the screen on the side. To do this, we remove these two top screws, and when we do this, we're going to start a separate pile. So we have a pile for the outer screws, and then we're going to start a separate pile for the inner screws. And when we do this, this allows you to separate the screen a little bit from the back of the screen assembly, and that gives us access to these two sc screws on each side. One down here, so one down here, and one here, and two on the same location on the other side. So when we do this part, make sure that the screen is tilted back a little bit so the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit so the screen doesn't fall forward on you and you might have to hold the screen like this to release the screw and then we're going to rotate the laptop 
and do the same thing on the second side. So we can see, we can do this like so. And then the screw got stuck in there, so we're going to use our metal tweezers to extract the screw. See if we can do it. Almost there, and we extracted the screw. And finally, we're going to get the last screw over here. And then you notice that the screen fell back a little bit. So now, the screen is free from the screen assembly. We can lay it gently on on the keyboard, and you see that there's a video cable. It's getting caught in the mounts for the video cable. So we just loosen up the video cable a bit here, so just enough to lay it down. Okay. Next thing we have to do is we need to remove this connector from the screen and the screen will be free. There's some adhesive tape on top so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a, a hobby knife to lift it up get it grab a corner and just grab a corner enough so that we can use our fingertips to lift up the adhesive tape and being very gentle around the connector, pull the adhesive tape back and also the back of the video cable has some adhesive that's attached to the screen. Once we lift that up, we can slide the connector out like so. Okay, and then we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to reconnect it. So when you reconnect it, make sure you feel two clicks. You'll feel them, but you probably won't see them. Well, you'll feel the two clicks, but you probably won't hear them. And then when you reconnect and make sure the two sides of the connection are flush with each other, there should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. So now the screen is free. And this is a 17.3 inch LED screen. And the part number for this particular screen is LP173WD1. TLG2. It's a 17.3 inch LED screen with 1600 by 900 resolution and it has a glossy finish. You can order this screen from us from Screen Surgeons and what you get with us is this exact same toolkit that I used in the video. That comes for free with the screen. We have free priority mail shipping in the United States and a two-year warranty and free email technical support. To order the screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out that will help guide you to find the right screen online. And then once you do get the screen in, uh, it will probably will not have the exact same part number, but the connector will be in the right place and everything else will look the same, the screw mounts and the dimensions of the screen. Okay, once you do get the new screen, reconnect the connector like I showed you, mount the screen in the screen assembly, put the screws on each side back in, then put the two screws in at the top, snap the screen bezel back on, put the two screws on the bottom and the screw covers and then you should be done. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.